Hi, I'm back from the supermarket picking up my click and collect order this fortnight and um, the light's getting low here so um, I hope you can still see everything that I bought for this next two weeks. only really needed to uh, top up on the fruit and vegetables and meat and some pantry items but this is what I got um, this fortnight the um, pack kilo pack of gourmet tomatoes now these these were something like about $6.99 for the kilo the previous fortnight but they um, kept really well and I found in the past when people um, choose uh, the shoppers online shoppers um, in Coles hand pick tomatoes or fruit I haven't been getting the best quality and these were on they were slightly reduced they might have only been 3 dollars this fortnight but they will last I've still got a couple in the fridge from last fortnight that have um, kept really really well so if you know that they're going to keep for the two weeks it's better in my opinion to pay that little bit extra uh, just topping up with carrots some pumpkin for a baked dinner, bananas for school lunches, pears for school lunches, strawberries, blueberries, just half a pineapple. Um, I think a whole pineapple. Uh, I did have to freeze quite a bit of the last uh, pi whole pineapple that I bought. Um, there's a Lebanese cucumber there and some spring onions. A packet of mint and coriander and that's prompting me to get busy to um, make my get back into making my own herb garden again uh, just some chocolate topping for ice creams and milkshakes cordial the they didn't have the home brand online which is um, something that I noticed that Coles do they want you to buy a brand name they won't put their own Coles products online all the time but it was on special uh, topping up with white vinegar which I use for cleaning and um, cooking two tins of uh, tuna oh there's a little jar of um, salsa there as well it's a bit hard to see in this light it's the home brand salsa um, the two litre box two two litre boxes of um, long life milk they were just slightly cheaper than the um, the other home brands ones that I normally get I got um, hockey and noodles instead of spaghetti pasta this fortnight because I've still got spaghetti pasta in the um, fridge and the pa pantry and the hockey and noodles can be used for something else penne pasta uh, just topping up with the tortillas I've still got some in the freezer, a uh, block of cheddar, kilo bag of grated, and that's really only con for convenience. And it's only the grated is only slightly um, more expensive than the block, or actually, it might, it's not very different in price at all. So um, I should check that. Uh, just the usual kilo bag of frozen chips just to keep in the freezer for um, easy nights a large piece of shoulder pork for roasting and also in a pulled pork or sandwiches for some one night just a uh, kilo bag of frozen fish fillets that was actually two dollars off some fish fingers for the freezer for quick and easy nights and the kids can heat them up for snacks as well chicken breasts um, beef mince and then sausages and I, I looked and looked I thought I might have been missing something but it looks like Coles aren't selling the two kilo um, uh, can, packs of sausages anymore so they're only selling them um, in one kilo packs for five dollars so just another way that they can um, add on another dollar here and there to make your shopping go up so as long as you're buying what you need for the recipes that you make your family you'll still be able to stay on budget so the only thing missing from the shop that I had ordered was a tin of Massell's chicken stock powder and 
I received the email to say that they didn't have any in stock and they replaced it with vegetable stock powder which I do have a, a lot enough of so when I picked up my order I just exchanged it I didn't exchange it I just got a credit for it so whatever is on my receipt um, which is emailed to me will be two less two dollars sixty seven I think that was the price of the chicken stock powder so I'll um, work out what that figure is for this next fortnight and that will be my total shop I know it was around about <clears throat> about $125 also Coles have um, gone back to allowing you to uh, bring your own bags which is good so I'm saving myself a dollar each fortnight not having to pay for bags they just right after restrictions were lifted they um, they didn't offer bring your own bags but now they are again so that's good so it's around about $125 for this next fortnight I'll let you know for sure on the next slide and if you follow me on Instagram Facebook or my YouTube channel or in the shop smart eat well Facebook group you'll um, be able to see exactly what I make with all of my shopping um, to prove that this is all I spend on my groceries for the two week and there's no meal planning there's no stockpiling there's no doing batch cookups or checking specials um, in the catalogs it's just buying the ingredients for the meals that I know my family will eat and just keeping them stocked up and that's it for this fortnight I'll um I'll see you on Instagram or in the group bye